It's my pleasure to be able to join you virtually from New York for the International Conference on Family Planning and this important media event on the overlooked promise of postpartum family planning in Addis Ababa, my hometown. While maternal deaths are declining worldwide, complications from pregnancy and childbirth continue to be among the top killers of young women in the developing world. I believe we must constantly ask why and challenge ourselves to ensure women, no matter where they live, have every opportunity for safe motherhood. To have the greatest impact on reducing maternal death, we must apply new perspectives and approaches to improve access to the full range of services critical to maternal health, from family planning, through assisted childbirth, to postpartum care. For the past several years, my foundation's signature effort has been focused on helping equip and expand emergency obstetric care at a maternal health center in Hawassa, Ethiopia. It is just a few hours south of where you are meeting today. Over 5,000 mothers have received care at this center since its launch, and the demand for the full range of safe birth services is growing rapidly. Closely spaced pregnancies hold the greatest risk for the health of the baby and their mother. In some cases, the year before and after childbirth may be the only opportunity to educate women about the risks and their family planning options. More needs to be done to take advantage of this window of time when the new mother has access to service providers who can advise her on how she can protect her health and plan for any future birth she may wish. The launch of programming strategies for postpartum family planning provides a roadmap for reaching more postpartum women during this critical time. I want to commend the World Health Organization, USAID, and MCHIP for their commitment to reducing maternal and child death. And I want to encourage all of you here today to share the message about the importance of investing in mothers. Thank you.